Hey! Hello everyone, and I think I've got a better camera angle! Oh, and welcome back to the walkthrough. <laughs> so, um... I was thinking... Um, you know, these four... Well... I think I'm actually gonna hold off on using them for another mode. Because I, I keep forgetting that I... Yeah, I have... These duders here of my original save file of level 99, and well, I I, I kind of want to show them, so <laughs> I think I'll save the the special unlockable characters for uh, say something like club slots or speed golf or something like that. You know, a more fun side mode thing rather than super serious star tournament type mode. Well, not that this is really that serious, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> So, okay, here we go. Tourney Greens. Back to his, you know the dealio. <laughs> Alright, so, as you can tell, I've got a uh, pretty powerful character here. Yeah, it's, it's got a wide impact area, high ball trajectory. And, yes, well, uh, anyway, in the Mushroom version of this course, you'll find these boost panels. I'll show you what they do here, uh, if I can land on one. It's, I'm not gonna drive the green anyway, so I might as well just mess around here a little bit. <laughs> Hopefully I won't plunk it in the water though, that would be, that would be a travesty. Yeah, so they push the ball forward thusly and, well, I didn't really use that very well, but... <laughs> I just wanted to show how they work. And, yeah, I gotta sorta kinda get myself out of this predicament. And... Let's see how ultra-powerful Neil will be able to handle this shot. Oh, I think he'll do just fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with these characters, uh, you know, level 99 Neil and Ella, I can pretty much birdie and or eagle every hole in the game. Like, on command. So, <laughs> so it's gonna be a com probably another complete blowout. But, another thing that I was thinking about is, if I am using something like Bowser on something that has, you know, the, the weak uh, impact area and stuff like that, and I have to be shooting good, uh, that kind of won't work for the tournament. <laughs> so, I should actually be using someone else for these tournaments. Like, I was able to get away with it with Ouija, because, you know, he's got, he's got a pretty decent impact area for my... Uh, Occasional mishits, okay, they're more than just occasional, but... <laughs> but the thing about it is, if I miss hit by one notch at the impact area with someone like Bowser, well, that's that's just trouble. Um, do I even need to bother with those pipes? I don't think I do! <laughs> and yeah, let's just uh, kind of rock this hole without the pipes. Look at that! It just keeps going! <laughs> Yeah, it, it took me a while to raise the characters up to level 99, but it, it wasn't like a grind fest or anything like that. Uh, because I, I wasn't really playing to grind with the characters, I was just playing to see all the game modes, to try and best my high scores, etc, etc. Uh, so it, it wasn't me just like doing repetitive stuff just to, just to grind up the characters. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was doing loads of stuff. And look at that, there's there's an eagle. So I'm one ahead of the birdie curve, I guess you could say, of uh, the, the course here, because it was birdie, birdie, eagle. So yeah, and I'm gonna topspin through this bunker here, just like so. Oh, oh, bad bounce, but I think I got away with it, especially since I'm so close to the green. Uh, oh geez, look how high my ball is. That's too high for what I want to do here. Let's go back. And I just want to kind of get it up to the top of that slope, and I don't want to want it to fly off the back. And I think it'll just kind of roll out too far if I go even at that high trajectory, because you know the fast greens and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna kind of, yeah, just kind of run it up there nice and gently, and plop it in for another birdie. <laughs> oh yeah, who's in the field uh, of this one anyway? Got Yukiki the monkey, and typical Mario characters. I'm looking for, you know, like stuff and stuff that's kind of out of place here, you know? <laughs> but no, it's, it's mainly Mario characters for the most part. I mean, yeah, there's a couple of them in there that are uh, not in the Mario universe, I guess you could say, but uh, 
They just, they just came along for the tournament to see, to, to test their metal, and obviously that, that box over there, not really worth hitting. <laughs> and as you can tell, I got my character spin to a nice rate so I can just kind of plop it down and stop it. You know my strategy. So yeah, that's how I ended up raising these characters as well. And, uh, let's see, will I actually get more distance if I hit the boost panel? I'm not sure if that this will actually work, but let, let's just see what happens. Because I'm not sure how much boost I'll actually get from this thing. Oh, that's actually quite a lot of boost. Okay, yeah, that was a good idea to hit the boost panel. <laughs> I was expecting it to go a lot less, especially with the rain and everything like that. Uh, oops, I want to go drop and stop, like, say, over there. And then a little backspin. And it's gonna go left of the hole because I kinda kinda miss it on the Oh! <laughs> maybe maybe not. Maybe it's just gonna hit the pin. Yeah, so I guess it would have been right of the hole if I would have hit dead center. I moved it a smidge to the right and it went in. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought it was gonna break more than that, you know, go in the center, but nah, nah it's all right. <laughs> now this is this is weird. The boost panels here, uh like See where they're aiming? They're aiming off to the left, but let's hit one, and I'll, I'll show you that that isn't actually the case, if I recall correctly. So what happens if you get a boost panel, just like, you know, a normal shot, and then it just kind of, yeah, boosts forward. Like, no matter which direction those panels are facing, they, they just boost you in whatever direction that you hit the ball. And I got myself in a predicament showing that, but that is okay. I got a really bad line in the rough, by the way, but, well, let's see what I can do here. Uh, uh, if I wouldn't have hit the boost panel, this would have been easy birdie, but eh, eh, we'll see how things go. Uh, fringe, a little bit longer than I wanted. Uh, I think I'm going to go yeah, a smidge to the right of the hole, from my direction, of course. And I'm going to hit way past the mark because of the rain. Uh, not quite enough. Okay, yeah, probably shouldn't mess around. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be so far from the hole that... Won't be able to make my putts back. Um, uh, power three. Oh wait, what was the gimmicks of this one? Oh yeah, they got the box. There's also some Koopa shells out over here in the out of bounds, but, but you know, it is, there's no there's no reason to go there ever. So they're mainly for detailing. Uh, let's see if I can hit the box because I think it's actually in my line this time. Is it? Not really. Uh, <laughs> should I just skip it? I think I'm just gonna skip it. And there's eventually going to be another box that I'll be able to uh, mess around with. But for this one, nah, not so much. And because of the wind, I'm doing super backspin because I think that's going to make it carry up to the top. And then, yeah, because it's going to come at that trajectory and I can pull it back. And there we go. And that's not... I'll pull it back a little more... a little farther than I wanted, but... Eh, I think I can make this. I moved it a smidge to the right. Oh yeah! I'm still ahead of the birdie curve, though. <laughs> uh, I, I can. I think I can drive the green here. Uh, well, no, maybe not. Because they're playing the back tees. That's right. Uh, I can only do this on uh, the front tees with this character. Well, unless I raise the character to have more power, but then I'd have to sacrifice. Uh, to control an impact area, and yeah, I, I just wasn't keen for that. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm aiming for a character that you can use for without the save and quit trick, you know, the save and quit in the middle of a hole that's going badly to sort of kind of get yourself uh, to restart the hole, and you know, that, that's kind of the thing that people do for uh, much- OH! <laughs> that's kind of the thing that people do for uh, the, the lo longer distance characters and club sets in the game just to see how low that they can get their scores. But for all practical purposes, when you're actually playing a real deal game without the save and quit thing, that isn't going to work. <laughs> uh, a lot of boost panels here. I wonder if I should try to hit one. It's probably not a good idea, but I'll go for that one way in front. And maybe I'll be able to top spin it onto the green. Because I'll be curving it towards the green with a little bit of a fade. Hit that panel. Hit that. There we go. <laughs> nah, I didn't hit it on the fly, so I didn't get, I didn't get nearly as much of a boost. Because the, the, the main distance that comes from the boost is when the ball bounces off of it. 
because it's, you know, it's in the air and it's going at a high speed, so, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna do a low, low shot that stops on a dime, preferably. And, uh, I hit, it's carried a little bit too far, but a backspin, pull it back into a nice range. And, of course, it drops pretty. Yeah. Mmm, there's a lot of star bunkers that aren't even in play here. Um, should I attempt to hit this panel in front here? That could be a bad idea, but I'll give it a try. Oh, that's a miss hit. <laughs> it's probably gonna be in the water. Well, maybe not. Oh, that worked out. <laughs> if I would've hit both panels, that could have been on the green, actually. But yeah, I got, I got assistance for that best drive, so I'm not sure I would really count that as a best drive. Uh, I just want to take this back here. Uh, sort of drop and backspin this time. Because of his super high trajectory, uh, you can kind of get away with pulling the ball back into locations that it wouldn't otherwise be able to get back to normally. See that? <laughs> as you can tell, I've raised this character very well. <laughs> uh, let's see what I can do here. Can I hit this box? Just, I want to hit something besides just boost panels this round, okay. <laughs> I might not get a birdie just by doing this, but I'm so far ahead of the field that I don't think it'll matter that much. So let's just mess around here. Uh, I put backs from the controller because I think it's gonna... Uh, that turned out alright. What do I get? What do I get? Power shot, come on, power shot! Oh, experience points! Get one-up mushroom experience points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's another way that you can get your characters to raise up is to play these star modes and hit the boxes. But uh, you know, it, it's randomized, so you're not always gonna, you're not always guaranteed to get a one-up mushroom in a round or something. Um, this one, I think I'm gonna hold back because I want to be able to hit over the trees on my second second shot, even though it's gonna be longer because. You know, it's a power five, I like to get this on the green in two. And look at those mushrooms lining that right side of the fairway there, up on top of that tier. Uh, that's kind of an interesting backstop that you could use. But I don't... I think it actually makes the hole easier than it does harder, for the most part, if you actually hit it over there. Uh, anyway, let's see if I can get on top of that little... Uh, little flat spot there. Eh, this is being finicky! <laughs> I hate when it gets finicky. I'm gonna try that. And, oh, I overhit it, so best super backspin time. Because, uh, yeah, um, like the, the higher your character's drive distance is, the more volatile uh, their power is on a miss hit. Like, uh, the notches mean a whole lot more to characters that have a higher drive distance because the meter is the same size, but it's equating itself to... Oh, I can't believe I missed that. But it's equating itself to different distances uh, separated per notch. So, yeah, that, that's one problem with having a more powerful character like this at times, is that that can happen. But, you know, generally, if you're not threading the needle too badly, it's, it's not that... It's not gonna come into play that often. Like, even, even there, I missed the eagle, but I, I still managed to get a birdie out of it. And I just want to control this one with backspin. And uh, it doesn't matter all that much with the, the smaller clubs, like this sandwich here. Because, in fact, I'm not even going to put any spin on this or anything like that. Because just, just watch what's going to happen here. It's, it's going to come at, come down at such a high trajectory that it's going to stop rather quickly. Just look at that. See, I don't even need backspin or anything like that uh, with such a high trajectory. I'm really overhitting this one, but uh, it, I'm not really because, you know, the rain. But it only looks like I'm overhitting it on the meter. Um, let's see here, uh, what's, can I hit, <laughs> why do I even bother going through these boxes? <laughs> it's like they're so far out of the way that, and oh, my trajectory is even way too high with the, with the three wood. Um, uh, yeah, even with the driver it's too high. Ah, screw it. <laughs> Forget the box, once again. Uh, I think I'm gonna move it a little bit to the left. And normal backspin here, because what I'm trying to do is fly it to a spot so it doesn't get offset by the the break and stuff like that. So yeah, that that'll do. <laughs> Beautiful. And yeah, I'm even more used to these two characters than I am with the characters that I raised on the Game Boy Advance 
uh, I mean the Game Boy Player, excuse me, because I've used these characters a whole lot more, and yeah, I'm gonna try and get it through that box. Oh, overhit! <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go in, I mean, through the box because of that, because what's gonna happen is, uh, yeah, the trajectory is just too high and it'll just fly right over it, and I totally forgot about that tree there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to probably go do a little low ball shot here, and... Oh, well, maybe I didn't. I mean, it, it seemed like I had a clear shot with the sandwich, but eh, I don't want to risk hitting the tree branches or anything like that if I'm too close to it, so I'm just, just kind of playing it safe there. Well, as safe as someone going for birdies can do. <laughs> Alright, two more holes to go, and I'll have this tournament won. Um... Mmm, that's, that's a tight area, but I think I can manage. Let's see how it turns out. I just want to get myself away from the trees on the left side, if at all possible. At least on my angle. Uh, I didn't mean to hit that tree. Yeah, it turned out okay. But yeah, the, the, the trees back over, over here seem to punish you more, like when you hit around this area because they're tighter to the fairway than if you were to hit over to this area somewhere. So yeah, that's why I went over to there. Uh, anyway, let's focus on this shot now. I'm gonna go and regular backspin this sucker, and it should suck in place like an octopus's arm. There we go. <laughs> 5.5 feet for eagle. Yeah, my characters just make short work of these suckers. And that's that's another interesting thing is that um, as you raise your characters, uh, it. You know, in theory, you should eventually be able to make them into something that, you know, is your strength. Like, in, in my case, I I'm, I do a lot of planning, but I am kind of iffy on the impact area sometimes. So I raise my characters up a lot in the impact area, and I just focus on the positioning of my ball for each shot. And as you can tell, it's just working out really well, and <laughs> I don't think... That is going to change anytime soon. Just as long as I, yeah. <laughs> just as long as I get it on the flat spots as per my plans. And then tap the balls in for their respective birdies or eagles. And also not go for boxes and get greedy and stuff like that. <laughs> and there we go, 20 under par. It could have been lower as you seen because I was because I was messing around, but 20 under par is uh the final score, and it looks like the one that you have to beat is 14 under. I couldn't see myself doing that with Bowser unless I was really, really playing sharp on the impact area, like I was really feeling out the impact area. Uh, but, you know, it, it, I guess Bowser, playing as a computer, managed to pull it off. <laughs> but anyway, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part. Oh, yeah, yeah, When you're at 99, um... Yeah, this is... it doesn't do anything. <laughs>